And what is up, guys? Average Gear Reviewer here, back again with another one for you. Guys, it is Friday. We've been carrying around this gear all week long. I can't believe it's already Friday. Can you guys, or is it crazy that it's just now Friday? Anyway. <laughs> anyway, guys, it's Friday. You know what that means? It's time for the Friday Night EDC Pocket Dump. This is our weekly series where we go through all the EDC gear that we've been wearing this week, all the stuff that we've been carrying around, and kind of talk about how our EDC might have changed this week. This is just if you're unfamiliar with the series. So, Welcome to Average Gear Review, where the best gear is the gear you have on you. So as always, guys, welcome to the channel or welcome back to the channel. If this is your first video, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for stopping by to watch one of my little videos. I really appreciate it. If you're a returning viewer, so great to see you. I hope you're doing well. And uh, guys, this week, I've got some really cool stuff that I want to show you. And a few changes in the carry. And of course, if you watch my latest video, you know what one of those things is going to be already. But anyway, uh, if you're new to the video series... What we'll do first is I'll talk for way too long doing an introduction and then we'll go over to the bench. I'll show you what all I'm carrying on my body. We'll go from left all the way around to the right and then we'll uh, go over to the bench and I'll show you in depth what I'm carrying and any changes that I made for this week, any recommendations I might have. Um, also, be sure and comment down below what you're carrying, what your EDC carry is. And if you want to hop over to Instagram and post your carry at the TGIF pocket dump and tag me in there. It's average gear review, all lowercase over at Instagram. Tag us in that and uh, post yours. I'd love to feature you in an upcoming Friday night pocket dump. This is every week we meet here, guys. So hopefully I'll see you back next week. But anyway, let's get over to the bench. Okay, guys, and we're over here at the uh, bench. And so really quick, let's just show you what I, all I got on you. Two of the things, of course, I'll show you before uh, I even stand up. And that is, of course, the iMini 2. If you watched any of my videos, that one's no surprise. You know that that's, uh, I always have it around my neck. So, um, and of course, the TickWatch Pro. That's like another I said thing. before, guys, I live in the south, and with the uh, summer months, you know, it's starting to get a little bit warmer outside, and we have to start tearing down our EDC a little bit um, for lighter clothes. So starting on the left-hand side here, I do carry small arm retention knife, the SOCP, and I carry it. I saw John Lovell, the warrior poet, carrying it this way, and he slides it in underneath his belt here. And it's not easy to get out. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Slides in underneath the belt there. Keeps it safe and secure out of the way. Of course, you know, the uh, small arm retention knife is there to, uh, you know, in case someone tries to take your firearm, you have uh, a means to try to retain or defend that that weapon. Okay. Um, over here, I'm carrying, of course, forgot it the last time, but I do have the Lighter Bro Pro on me. And in the back pocket here, again, carrying the Warrior Mini 3. And it never worked again. Of course, the Olight O-Hank. You know, got to have the O-Hank in the pocket. Right back pocket, of course. Mirroring in tactical wallet, as always. Oh, okay, and continuing on around the right side here. Uh, right now, I'm carrying, well, bam. The Remet Rhino. This is the uh, Micarta version in PVD coated 14C28N titanium pivots and a button lock. Super nice little knife. I got a review coming up on that one here shortly. Oh, yeah. Oh, I can't take that out yet. So let's go ahead and uh, I did take the firearm and make it safe. But just to show you, nothing in the chamber. Got the Taurus G2C as always with the Olight. I always have to look at this a Balder RL. I have I have two or three of these, and so I never can remember which one this is. Got the red light and the flashlight. Sorry for flashing you guys there. I'm a flasher. So there is the pistol. Of course, uh, you know I always carry in the gun and flower Kydex holster. 
with the uh, ulti clip. Got to have the ulti clip naturally. And yeah, the thing I'm most excited about, guys. Oh, also, I am still rocking the Visbix tactical belt system. I'm getting ready to set up my. Uh, I'm getting ready to set up the gun belt for this. I'm going to do a video on that for you guys because I want you to come along with me on that one. Um, but I am going to be setting up the uh, gun belt that goes around the outside of this one here shortly. This for, oh yeah, if you watched my last video, guys, you know what this is. The pocket platform. That's right. I, I keep calling it the wrong thing. I'm sorry, Will. I'm sorry. I can't, I can't seem to get the name of it right. That's my bad. But this is the custom average gear review version with the custom red stitching. Love it. Hasn't left my pocket since I got it. And if you guys saw my last video, you know that's what my unboxing was, was unboxing that. So, yeah, super excited about that. Bismix tactical belt here. You can kind of see it's really just a pretty a simple, not too sturdy, um, but not too flexible hook and loop. Get the loop on the outside. Super cool. And I didn't have it handy here on me, but I usually will have this in a bag. Um, and this is sort of like a little miniature IFAC kit. And I do have my tourniquet here. And then inside I keep a small IFAC, AFAC type kit. Some medical supplies, stuff like that. Very important to have that stuff on you if you're going to be concealed carrying. So uh, let's uh, take a look at all this. Hey guys, and we're back over here at the bench. And you can see that my carry um you know a few things have changed and a few things i've just have sort of settled into the i mini 2 the tick watch pro the lighter bro really start the soCP starting to make a uh, a constant appearance there the mirrored and tactical wallet you know the pistol i'm always got the uh, g2c the gun and flower holster those things don't really change i'm changing up how i'm carrying my uh, tourniquet right now i just like that better than I was carrying it around my waist on the Vismix tactical belt. And if you saw that video, um, you know what I'm talking about. It'll just sort of attach to the Velcro around the outside. Uh, I was wearing it like that, but it seemed like I was adding so much weight around my waist that I just really felt like I needed to sort of lighten things up a little bit. One of the most exciting things that has changed this week, guys, and I was super excited to get this in, was the pocket platform from Nifi King. You guys remember I did a video on his, I called it the tactical pocket platform or tactical front pocket at the time. It was a smaller version of this and it was just sort of a uh, beta test that he was working on. Anyway, the beta test went really well and this is the production model. Now this particular one, if you guys are interested in getting one like this, uh, let me know in the comments down below if you're interested in getting one with the red stitching because that one is uh, custom. And uh, if you're interested in one of those, let me know. Hit me up on Instagram at uh, Average Gear Review, all lowercase, or uh, contact you know contact me in the comments down below. I'll tell you how to get a hold of me if you're interested in getting one of the custom Average Gear Review models. I love the red and black; it just looks really good together. Otherwise, these will come with just the regular black stitch. This week, another change. I am carrying the Remet Rhino. And this is the uh, original version that they came out with. It had the micarta scales, titanium pivot, the 14C28N blade with the PVD coating. Really nice jimping on the back of the blade. Uh, it has a button lock. Really nice action to it. It pocket flips very well. This knife has, I think, more deployment methods than any other knife that I've ever seen. You can deploy it using this little, uh, it's almost like a nail nick, uh, thumb nick whatever you want to call it here. You can use that to deploy it. You can deploy it with the thumb studs. You can deploy it by just using the button. Well, I mean, you have to flick it, but you know what I'm saying. You can use the button to release it. So just, yeah, I think this one you can even, yeah, you can even pocket, you can front flip it too. So like it has this little piece on the front where you can actually front flip it. So yeah, I've never seen, I don't know of another knife that has that many deployment methods, but anyway. I'm really impressed with the uh, Remet Rhino and with Remet in general. They have been coming out with some bangers this year. So, uh, yeah, look for a review, a full review coming up on this, uh, on the Remet Rhino if you're interested in this knife. 
I would highly recommend it. I've had uh, really not a whole lot of negatives about this one. Um, and I will go into a couple of things in the review, but I don't want to spoil it right now. But uh, yeah, the, the pocket clip is passable. I would say it's as good as anything you're going to get on like the Civivi knives. But anyway, I'm rambling, guys. So not a lot of not a whole lot of changes this week. I'm sort of settling into the way that I'm carrying things. And again, with the summer months coming on, you know, it's getting hot down here in the south and uh, we got to start shedding clothes. So <laughs> anyway, guys, let uh, I think it's about all I've got for the carry. So uh, let me just give you my final thoughts for this week and uh, stick around for the safety briefing at the end. So, yeah, guys, thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate you stopping by to watch one of my videos, especially watching uh, all the way to the end. It does mean a lot to me. If you like the video, hit smash that smash that like button down there for me. Just just do it. Just do it right now. Smash it. Do you know what that means? Do you know? Let me just real quick. Do you know what it means when you hit the like button? It doesn't. It doesn't just say that you like it. It tells YouTube that it's a good video. So if you think this is a good video, you're now bound to hit that like button. <laughs> anyway, guys. If you do like the video, please leave a like. Leave me a comment down below. Let me... So guys, that's my carry for this week. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what are you carrying? What's in your pockets, as we like to say every week here. Uh, you know, I, I'd like to know if your EDC has changed. Do you always carry the same thing or do you tend to swap things out? Let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to know what uh, if, you know, if you guys kind of just carry the same EDC or if you like to, um, you know, switch things out and try new things out. I'm always trying to try new things, um, but I do find myself settling into things that I'm just kind of always have on me. I'm looking for a different type of wallet. I actually want to try out a different type of wallet. Um, and I will say a watch. I'm always open to uh, getting a new watch, but it seems like smartwatches are so expensive anymore that uh, it just, yeah, it's, it's hard for me to pull the trigger on one. But uh, Garmin's got some nice ones. Um, I know there's some really nice ones out there with this one that just as it, it still works for me. So I just, you know, I'm kind of from the, uh, if it ain't broke, don't fix it school, I guess. So, um, yeah, anyway, guys, you know, uh, hop over to Instagram and uh, post what you've been carrying this week. Post it at the TGIF pocket dump and make sure you tag us at average gear review, all lowercase. So super excited, of course, uh, about the Pocket Platform, the newest arrival from Knife Eye King. Just got it in yesterday, so I really haven't had a whole lot of chance to check it out. But I've already kind of figured out what I like to carry in it. And this may be a little much, but it is amazing to me how much you can fit in here. Um, I've got a full-size Sharpie, a Flatanium Fly Bar. I've got the SOG Power Leader here. Um, an Olight i3T and then the Olight D1 bit driver, all of that. And it fits easily into there. So, uh, yeah, check out the video on the unboxing of this. I go into a little bit more in depth of how it works. And uh, again, if you're interested that, uh, he's Nifi King, I'll put uh, a link for him up here. Nifi King on Instagram, be sure and go check him out. So as far as your safety briefing goes, gentlemen, drunk driving deaths are up. So don't be drinking and driving. Uh, arrive alive, you know, I, Uber, uh, you know, Lyft, it's a thing now. So, uh, yeah, don't be drinking and driving. Hopefully we'll see you all again on Monday. And, uh, as I always say, always be caring and remember the best gear is the gear you have on you. That's right. I heard you say it. Great job. Anyway, guys, hope you have a great weekend. Average gear reviewer. I'm out of here. Average gear review. But the best gear is the gear you have on you.